The 10th century saw the emergence of a new power on the seas, the cog. This robust sailing ship, born from necessity in the shipyards of Western Jutland, revolutionized medieval maritime trade. Existing ships struggled to navigate the treacherous waters of the Limfjord, causing delays and hindering trade. Merchants found their answer in the cog with its sturdy build and shallow draft. This new vessel, with its increased cargo capacity, offered a lifeline to trade in the region. The COG's arrival marked a turning point, ushering in an era of more efficient and dependable maritime transport. Its ability to overcome geographical barriers unlocked new trade routes and fueled economic growth. The North Sea and Baltic Sea became bustling avenues of commerce thanks to the COG. The COG's success stemmed from its ingenious design and robust construction. Shipwrights, primarily in Prussia's Baltic region, favoured sturdy oak for the COG's hull. This durable timber gave the COG its legendary strength. These vessels, typically measuring between 15 and 25 metres in length, possessed a distinctive round shape. A flat bottom, combined with overlapping planks at the bow and stern, enhanced the COG's seaworthiness. Clinker planking, a defining feature of the COG, contributed significantly to its resilience. Iron nails, meticulously double-clenched for added strength, secured the planks. While primarily sail-powered, cogs could be rowed for short distances, adding to their versatility. This unique blend of design elements made the cog a formidable vessel, capable of withstanding the harshest sea conditions. The cog's impact on maritime trade was profound. Its ability to carry up to 200 tons of cargo revolutionized the movement of goods. Compared to land-based transport, which was slow, costly, and often perilous, cogs offered a significant advantage. They could transport larger quantities of goods over long distances more efficiently and cost-effectively. The Hanseatic League, a powerful trading alliance, recognized the COGS potential. COGS became the backbone of the League's trade network, transporting commodities across vast distances. This maritime network connected distant markets and fueled economic growth throughout Northern Europe. Coastal communities across Europe embraced this versatile vessel, expanding their economic reach. The COG in conflict adapting to warfare. While primarily a merchant vessel, the COG's sturdy design and spacious deck made it adaptable for warfare. Its open deck could be easily modified to accommodate defensive structures and weaponry. During naval conflicts, COGs often served as troop transports, ferrying soldiers and supplies. Their high sides provided protection from enemy archers, while their open decks allowed for the deployment of archers and crossbowmen. COGs could also be equipped with catapults and other siege weapons. The COGs' role in warfare highlights its versatility and significance in medieval maritime history. Outpaced and outmatched, the COGs decline. The 14th century saw the emergence of new shipbuilding techniques and the growing demand for larger, more specialized vessels. The COG, once at the forefront of maritime innovation, began to show its age. The Hulk, a larger and more sophisticated ship, began to overshadow the COG. Hulks, with their superior sailing characteristics and increased cargo space, were better suited to the evolving demands of maritime trade. By the late 14th century, the COG's dominance had waned. The once ubiquitous COG had become a relic of a bygone era, overshadowed by the rise of the Hulk and other advanced sailing ships echoes of the past and the COG's legacy. Despite its eventual decline, the COG left an indelible mark on maritime history. Its innovative design, particularly its clinker planking and robust construction, influenced shipbuilding for centuries. The COG's impact on medieval trade was profound, facilitating the growth of cities and the expansion of trade networks. Archaeological discoveries, such as the Bremen COG, provide invaluable insights into these remarkable vessels. These tangible links to the past allow us to marvel at the ingenuity of medieval shipwrights. The COG story is a testament to human ingenuity and our enduring fascination with the sea, its legacy forever etched in maritime history. Please like and subscribe to the channel.